friends, welcome back to my channel. I have a help, happy helper today. We are doing month-long grocery shopping. It is a Sunday, which is my very least favorite day of the week to do any sort of grocery shopping. But I'm here at Walmart starting out. I have a pickup order. Then we're going to Sam's for a pickup order. And then we will end at Aldi. Hopefully I won't have to go to another store. Hopefully Aldi has everything that I need. But Walmart was already out of a couple things that I'm going to have to look for at Aldi. Uh, let's see. Future Megan is going to... I'm going to be thankful. Um, because I'm forcing myself to do this today because we start school back tomorrow. Are you excited about that, Journey? I was so excited. <laughs> None of the kids are very excited to start school back up and I just know that first week getting back into a routine is going to be hard and so I'm forcing myself to do this on a Sunday so that we set ourselves up um, for the rest of the week and for January and it's no spend January so my goal is to be really fast in Aldi. I'm not even going to go down the aisle of shame so that I'm not tempted to buy stuff that's not on the list. Okay, that was relatively fast. Got Walmart picked up, Sam's Club picked up. Sitting here in front of Aldi, ready to go in. It's like 1.40. I'm real hopeful that we can get home by three at the latest, hopefully. So, got a new bag to me, which is not my purse. If you know, you know. It was a Christmas present to myself. So we are ready to go, right? Great. <laughs> All right, we made it out of Aldi, and actually we just went into our little grocery store that is in the town that we live in. I actually travel 20 minutes to get to like a substantial grocery store from where we live um, because Aldi was completely out of frozen vegetables. There were like none. And then shaved Parmesan, Walmart didn't have. I'm sure Sam's Club would have had it, but I didn't need that much. And so we needed that for a salad recipe. And then even though it's no spend, we both used gift cards that we had and got ourselves some Starbucks, which is one of my favorite tips for no spend is to save all your gift cards for no spend so it's not completely torturous. So everybody's at home, so they should be able to help us haul in all these groceries, and then I will show you what we got. Okay, we made it back. I'm going to show you all the first, and then I'll show you the rest of it. All right, starting down here, the girls are going on a retreat with church, so I got them just some snacks, oatmeal cream pies. These are for Jalea, and then Journey picked out the animal crackers, and then so Jericho wasn't left out, I got him a box of the vanilla wafers. Some club crackers for snack plate lunch. This is just like Velveeta, and I have a couple different, two recipes I think that I'm gonna use that in this month. Just some frozen chicken breasts. This is for air fryer lunch. I was looking for chicken nuggets, but they had none, so they like these too, it'll be fine. These are potato tops. The imitation crab meat is for the sushi for Julia and I. Seasoned fries, those are for air fryer lunch as well. They did have meatballs, which I was happy about. These are for um, meatball stroganoff. Um, what was it? Walmart did not have any um, pork butt roast. $3.49 is more than I would like to pay, um, but I needed that for a specific recipe and I think it'll give us some good leftovers. I got two packages of boneless skinless chicken thighs for two different recipes. I've switched to this kind of sugar when I buy sugar. I try not to use a lot of sugar, but this is what I have switched to. Got some corn tortillas. I'm doing those red and green enchiladas. Um, the Pioneer Woman recipe with those. I really like these low-carb tortillas at Aldi. Some non-fat Greek yogurt. Sour cream. I prefer to buy them in these small ones and open them up one at a time rather than the big one from Sam's, you know, so it lasts the whole month. Uh, 
turkey meat sticks, some coffee, one thing of beef broth for a recipe, and then half and half for my coffee, some garlic powder and onion powder. I've really been liking this avocado oil spray, and it's a really good price. It's like $3.29, and it's a whole lot more on Thrive or at any other grocery store, so I um, grabbed that. I like to keep Our Family Swears by Zycam for staving off colds and stuff, and so I like to keep this stuff on hand so that when we need it, we don't have to run to the store being sick and such. So I saw that and got that. Two things of Monterey Jack, three things of mozzarella. I'm doing that white lasagna. And then I always need mozzarella for flatbread pizzas for lunch once a week. Two cartons of eggs, two gallons of milk. I had the room in the refrigerator today, so I decided to go ahead and get two. Um, egg noodles, which actually Walmart did not have, so I was happy that um, Aldi had it. Oyster crackers, this was not planned for anything, but it's just been so long since we could find them that I went ahead and got them and we'll just keep them in the pantry. This is um, ginger, onions, some limes, and then I needed a, just a variety of fruit and we saw these raspberry oranges that looked good. It says delicious hint of berry, so, and they're like a nice small individual size, so we'll see how those are. Whenever they have these Cosmic Crisp, if I can't get Honey Crisp or like a Fuji or something, I like to get these. I love these little, this little bag of mini potatoes because they're really easy just to roast in the oven. This tastes just like Jif peanut butter, so I got one of those. I like this marinara sauce. It has really good clean ingredients, no sugar. Um, no yucky oils. This one's actually Bobby approved if you follow Flav City. Um, cream of chicken, two cans of black beans, two things of Alfredo sauce for that white lasagna. This is just like Frank's Red Hot. I got that for the buffalo chicken dip. Then I plan on making homemade granola bars, but I just got one of each pack of these um, until I can get those made. Journey really likes these cherry bars. Some hard shell tacos for tacos. And then we have the produce was even frozen, was sad today, but some fresh broccoli, some iceberg lettuce. I really like these French green beans when they have them. Celery, um, jalapenos, lettuce was sad, sorry shape today. I really wanted like, I was feeling like some mixed greens, but Sam's Club didn't have it and the stuff at Aldi was looking yucky. And then mini peppers, I needed some colored peppers for a bunch of different stuff, so I just got the mini ones. White vinegar, I get a jug of this every month because I use it in my wash. The kids crap cereals that they just get one box of and then they're done. Two things of pretzels and then also chips were looking pretty sad but we have other stuff so I just got a sea salt and vinegar and an original. Um, feminine products we didn't need these but I like to always grab some as well as toilet paper we didn't need it but I like to grab some when we can. Journey are you enjoying that? Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Okay, while we're over here, let's just do Sam's Club. So, these are the frozen patty, um, hair, hamburger patties that I like to get for the air fryer lunch. These are also the kind that we use in the summer. Or it's not grilling right now. I got, I hate this word, but chub of ground beef, 9010. Is that funny, Julia? <laughs> Um, what did this cost me? Three thirty-eight a pound, which at my regular grocery store it's six dollars a pound for eighty twenty. So still a great deal at Sam's Club. Avocado oil, this is mostly what I cook with. Heavy whipping cream has been hard to find, so I was glad that they had that. Craft singles, I probably buy these maybe twice a year. 
but when we do like grilled cheese sandwiches, that's the kind that we use. Salami. Um, normally I would get two of these, but I already had an unopened one in the free or in the fridge. So just one of those. Some cream cheese. You need cream cheese for the buffalo chicken dip. We really like these big hot dogs, um, and I don't have plans for these on the meal plan, but I just like to have them in the freezer for like emergency dinner. Uh, cheese sticks, we always get those every month. I was able to go ahead, um, I like to get the little boxes at Aldi and they did actually have them this time, but I didn't know that, so I got them from Sam's Club, which is fine. Um, crackers have just been really hard to find as well, and we need that for our snack plates. Um, once a week. So, Cheez Its, one box of that. Normally I would get two. Journey, for the love, stop. Um, Tostitos, and then these are a good deal, and I believe you get more than you do in the Tostitos bag. So, we have um, tortilla chips for quite a few things. We'll do chips and cheese, and then we have quite a few Mexican dishes every. Um, month. I like to keep these in the freezer. These are Tabata rolls and they make excellent rolls if you have like a sandwich or they make excellent garlic bread when you just want some garlic bread to go with spaghetti or something. Uh, black olives, mini cucumbers, which this is technically, it's hard for us to finish up this many before they go bad. Um, but I'm glad I grabbed them from Sam's because Aldi had none like no cucumbers whatsoever. And then butter. This is Walmart. And I think I might have a thing or two coming from uh, Sam's Club Online maybe. But did I say goldfish? I don't think I said goldfish. And then that's Tide Laundry. I didn't technically need that, but when I open up one, I like to have one for backup, so decided to go ahead and get that. I really like this brown rice pasta for a healthier pasta option, so I grabbed one of those. Pinto beans, um, diced green chilies. This is just stuff that I can't get at Aldi. And then bamboo shoots and water chestnuts, and they did actually finally let me add water chestnuts. It was just being weird when I was ordering. Petite diced tomatoes. I don't know why I only got one. I'll have to check. I thought I ordered more than that, but that's all right. These mini wontons are frozen, and they're going to go in that soup that I'm making. Chopped spinach, that is for, I think that's for Tuscan chicken. This actually came online. Um, this is for Jalea, not to actually use as mouthwash, but to soak her Invisalign trays in. This... I was hoping this was a much bigger container. I'm trying to find better mayo, and I tried making my own and I just didn't like it, so I probably just need to like practice more. But this was like $4 and something, and that's a very small container of mayo. So we're gonna have to come up with something better than that because that's too expensive. This is the microwave popcorn that the kids like. Curly fries, which now we have two bags of fries, but I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to get it at Aldi, so I just went ahead and ordered some just in case. This, I think, is a poblano pepper, which I need for a recipe specifically. Lots of frozen broccoli. I really like this bag of broccoli from Walmart. It's just a dollar, and it steams up really nicely right in the bag, and then I can add it to Instapot mac and cheese for lunch or just um, like two of them for a quick side for dinner. Broccoli saw is for, I think that goes with the wontons for that soup. Um, this was a substitution, which is fine. Um, I'll just have to add some Parmesan to it for this rigatoni bake that I'm making. The asparagus goes with the cheese tortellini for tortellini primavera. Red onion, I don't know why I needed that. It's got to be for a recipe. I like to get the mat stick carrots whenever I can just for salads because I like that in my salads better. Um, garlic, which I don't get my garlic at Aldi anymore because they don't have the root on it, and so it's not from the U.S. 
Then, these are the three things that we had to go into our little local grocery store for, which was frozen corn, frozen peas, and shaved Parmesan for a yummy salad that I'm making to bring to our small group. So that is everything. Oh, plus there was a bag of water softener salt in the Sam's Club order, but my husband already took that downstairs. Okay, that is everything. Thanks for watching. These are all of our groceries for a month. And I haven't added up the total yet, but I'm sure the thumbnail will say the total. Um, but this is, this is pretty much it. I will go back for milk and a few fresh veggies. And other than that, I am really done and we're just gonna eat what we have. Um, like an example of, I didn't even go down the fun aisle, but out of the corner of my eye, I did see um, a cookie cooling rack. And like I would say, I need a new, another cooling rack. I have some, I don't need one. I would like another one. But that would be an example of something I said no to today because it's no spend and we're trying to keep it as low as possible. So thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye.